Hi everyone, how you doing? Um, this is a little video I'm going to make here to show anyone that's interested how to modify your Revel voice amp so that it runs uh, runs on um, a, a higher rechargeable battery that uh, will last about 10 times, 10 to 20 times longer than the original 9 volt batteries that that uh, that the unit's equipped with. Um, it's a very simple modification. I'm going to just show the parts and kind of make it really brief this video. Um, here's the batteries that I use. These will replace the regular standard 9 volt batteries. It's a 9.6 volt uh, um, radio controlled car battery available at Fry's. I got one, two of those. So we'll be putting two of those in. And here's some Molex connectors that you can get. Um, I got these at Electronic City in Van Nuys. I'm sorry, North Hollywood, but uh, they're available pretty much anywhere. Here's some standard uh, um, 9 volt battery connectors, which you'll just be uh, attaching those together and making a little connector here for that. And then here's even a, a charger. I bought this at Gizmo's Hobby store in Burbank, and that's actually a pretty high tech charger that'll just, these batteries will actually charge up in about 15 minutes. And um, if you do this modification to your Revel, you'll notice that uh, you'll have about about a 50% power increase so it'll be much louder um, if you're street preaching or whatever you're using the Revel for it'll last uh, many hours I, I usually only charge this about once a week at, at the most and I, I probably go out several times a week and use the unit it's much louder um, and the calculation I've done shows that it lasts about 10 to 20 times longer than a 9 volt battery and, and uh, this co costs about, you got about uh, $50 in parts here with the batteries. This particular charging unit right here was about uh, $40. So, but that's not necessary actually. With the $50, one of these batteries will come with a, a little charger, a wall charger. Anyway, just to show you what I've done here is inside the side compartment, I've just made a little uh, connection there, just snap in. Um, a connector tied onto a Molex connector to adapt to the new battery and there's a there's the uh, male Molex connector end and also on the other side of the bag you'll notice I put one there so each one of these batteries can go like this one will go on this side like that this one will go on this side like that they fit pretty good in the pouch and uh, and just a quick note is you'll notice in the bag on this particular side where there is no batteries located for the unit as it comes from the factory there's already a slit sewn in there um, for such a modification so all you gotta do is fish a wire through there around through the front here and it, there's another slit in that side where the standard 9 volt battery wires connect into and you just fish it out there and you make your connections here the good thing about this modification is that uh, you're not actually changing the unit in any way. You're just fishing that wire across there, and uh, and if you choose to do so, you can always take these out and just unsnap your your battery connectors and put regular 9 volt batteries in if you like to. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. It's a uh, uh, just highly recommend this modification if anybody's not sure or wants. You know, I can do it for you if you live locally, if you just text me or email me. Um, just, you know, respond onto my blog and I can give you a parts list and where to get those. Or if you like, I can even maybe do the modification for you. Uh, that's, that's about it. Hope you, uh, hope you found this video useful. And, uh, and uh, hope you're, uh, anyone that owns one of these is uh, going to find uh, you're going to get a lot more volume and uh, you won't be running out of batteries in the middle of of uh, some street preaching or whatever you're using your unit for. Alright, well God bless you and have a great day. Thanks.